Hello guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today video is about how you can grip a big, large braid without using your rubber band. As you can see, as I wrap around the hair, um, I make sure I separate the hair. If you were a beginner, this is how you're going to separate it. That way you can get all the braids equal size. That way your braids can be straight. Uh, as you can see, I use jam to smooth all my braids out. And it's very important to tuck in your client hair. And yes, so... Um, this braid, it's um, it just like a large braid. Um, a lot of people thinking, um, they have to use rubber bands for a large section of braids. No, you don't. Um, you have you can practice till you can grip um a large section of braids. So yeah. can tell I'm on my next braids. I had to adjust the camera. I always comb the hair out. You know, I always make sure I comb my client um, hair out. She has a 4C hair. And guys, you need to grip properly. Um, yes, you need to make sure all your braids are the same size. And guys, you do need a product to smooth your braids out so i just wrap around yeah i wrap it around and separate it and start braiding i really think it's easy and yeah The braids look like it's smaller here, but it's actually large. Y'all can see how, you know, the space in it. So, yeah. And y'all know how to hurry up a little bit. And, guys, um, I film with my phone. So, I only film the important, um, the important section of the braids. Because my phone will not be able to, um, uh, um, like, film the whole head. The whole head um, is about 4 hours and 20 minutes. That's how much it took me. And, yeah, so I use the jam. Make sure I smooth it out. I always comb the hair. So once you wrap around the hair, make sure your braid your braiding hair it's what I do is when I separate my hair and I'm crossing it over, I make sure that um I make sure that you see right there, don't drop your braid too low. You it has to be close to the line. Cuz some people braiding, you can tell the braid is too lower is too far away from the box no it has to sit on top close to your um your part i don't know if i explain it right yes and as i i was going that's what i was showing showing that the braid be, the braids um be, the uh braid between the braid and my pot shouldn't be far away. It has to sit on top. Guys, please don't drop your braids because it's not cute. Thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't drop it though. Yes, and as I go, if I realize the hair is, you know, smaller, I just stuck in a little um, braiding hair just to make sure um, I get the same size of, you know, braids. 
and you can always borrow from the other side and yeah Yes, and guys, try to braid all the way to the end because I see a lot of braids. Um, a lot of braiders do that. They just braid a little bit and leave a whole bunch of hair. Yes, not good because if you dip your hair, actually, it's it's not going to be, um, what's the name? And I always have to adjust my client hair because like, I'm not getting no cup of tone. And yeah. So you can tell I separate the hair and yeah. And guys, to, for your braids to be straight, you're going to have to make sure like all your three sections are the same size. If it's not the same size, you will feel it in your hand and you're going to have to. Yes. And once I get right there, I use jam to smooth out. My braids, guys, I am always going to tell you, you need some type of product. And I use jam. Um, I You, you can also go to BettyBellaBraid.com and purchase my, um, what's the name? My um, edge control because some of the, um, uh, how you call it? Some of the 4C hair, um, especially when I'm doing knowledge, I make sure I'm using edge control. Yes. So... And guys, as I said, um, I wrap it around and yes, so, but guys, let me know if you watch this video, it's very important to let me know if this is the right way to position my camera because I'm trying to give you the detail of how you can, um, how, how you can see it properly that way you'll be able to um yes my client was sleeping so yeah yes yeah, so when i found out one of the braid um i didn't tuck the hair right i went back guys don't be lazy always make sure you tag your falsy hair your fine hair whatever hair y'all call it i don't just make sure that you smooth out and as you can see, um, I borrow a little hair. She's sleeping. Yeah. And I stuck it in. Yeah. So. So let me know in the comment section if I did replace the camera properly. Because uh, I'm, you know, I'm a new um, YouTuber. Um, I'm about to start, um, a tutorial because I, my channel just start getting monetized. So guys, I want to stay consistent. Um, if you love braids, stay here with me and I will make you better. We're going to learn together. Um, yeah. So I couldn't record the whole thing because I record with my phone, as I said, from beginning. But I'm going to get a camera. I just want to, you know, work hard a little bit and make sure my, you know, my channel is getting attention, more attention. But right now, I'm getting a little better from, you know, from I'm getting a little more views. So hopefully, yeah, if you, if you see this video helpful, please share it for me and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, my client was tired. She drove one hour to me, and I really hope she stayed up. But I was struggling, as you can see. It was a big struggling, girl. Yes. And if you know your braid is not the same size, guys, please, you can add a little more hair. Don't add too much. You can just gauge it and use a little hair. If you use too much, it's going to be bigger. So you don't want get you don't want to get different size of braids. You want to make sure all your braids are the same 
size. My client's sleeping, yes. She was tired, I guess. Um... So let me know if this is the right way to position the camera because I had to mark um, where I position the camera. That way, next time, um, I leave it the same place because I am not playing. I'm trying to be a, a braider. I'm always a, a good braider, but I want to be a, bra a good braider at YouTube where I can get people to learn from me and you know i can also learn from people so yeah let me know it's very important to let me know in the comment section guys please let me know if i'm positioned my camera is positioned properly thank you yeah it was a struggle right there yeah, she couldn't stay up but um i'm grateful that she let me um film her hair on my youtube channel so yeah i was just excuse my hand so yeah i'm on the top and yes so i wrap it around yes and lock it with my finger right there you split and you braid. And I make sure, because her hair is very thick, I had to make sure I split that hair very good and tack her hair. Guys, make sure your client hair is under the braiding hair. Okay? That is what makes their braids last longer. Tacking is a little, it takes a little time but guys, it also makes um, hair last long. And as you can see, um, the braiding hair was a little smaller. I felt it, so I kind of had to put, you know. And that's how I stuck the braid in the middle of it. And guys, if you stuck the braiding in for if your braid, uh, your braiding has not uh, the same size, you're going to have to be careful. Don't add too much and don't add too small. Too small is better because, but if too big, my, you might have to take that braid down. And guys, don't be lazy. If you see one braid is bigger, please take it down because you know that client have to return back to you. Yes. I think my nails are cute, guys. It's cute. Period. I'm just kidding. So I, I get the hair. And I always, guys, I always make sure one the ones on the one on the right is a little smaller than what's her name. That way when I cross it. I get all my three sections are the same size. That's how you can get your braids um, straight. And guys, watch this video all the way to the end. If you want to learn, um, you need to focus what I'm doing, how I split the hair, how I tuck it. And yes, because this is only job that don't require a degree so you need to pay attention you need to teach yourself you need to braid it nice smooth it out and your client will return back to you yes and as i'm going i use a little i smooth you know the braids with some and here we go again um here i go again i stuck it you see how little that um what's it because i didn't want it to be too big yes so and guys please i'll say it again make sure you braid the hair all the way down so when you're done braiding please go back and make sure you look through all the braids that need to be braiding you know that way it will be all the way down because sometimes it's not cute when you leave a lot of hair not braided at the end of your braids
stamp it, wrap it, okay? You wrap it, you split. As I split, I make sure my finger is stamping on the braid. That way the roots won't get loose. And I tag the client hair. I always use my diamond edge control um, to smooth out my braids. This is the client hair. I'm tucking it. And I get a little hair. And I stuck it in. I'm on my last braid, guys. <laughs> yes, that's the best feeling when you, you uh, every braider knows once you're on your last braid, oh, it feels so good. Yes, it doesn't matter if it's a short service or long service or all day service, whatever. Anytime you hit on your last braid, oh, Lord, it feels so good. And, guys, because I was filming, I was just braiding to the middle. Because I didn't want the video to be too long because my editing game is not that great. So that's something that I'm doing a lot of research on and learning a lot. That way I can edit very good. And guys, I'm using expression the 48 inches on this hair. So, guys, yeah, this is the end of it. And, guys, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you watch this video, let me know if you will rock big braids. Let me know if you love the way I braid. Put your comments below. And, yeah, don't forget to share it if you find this video helpful. Please share it on my, your Facebook, Snapchat, and everywhere. Um, thank you so much and don't forget to check my website out. Follow me on my Instagram at Betty Bella Braids and yes, this is how the braid came out. Thank you so much. See you next time when I make another video. Bye-bye.